Hello folks, Space Tech here, and welcome to my first ship tour. I usually make deep dive videos, exploring the details of the numbers and statistics of ships, but the highly anticipated Drake Corsair has just launched in the PTU ahead of its live release this Friday. Because this is a PTU test where CIG is gathering feedback as to the performance of the Corsair, and numbers might change, I figured I would make a quick video touring the Corsair for those of you who can't get your hands on it right away, but are curious to see what it's all about. Starting off at the back of the ship, we see this massive back ramp ready to carry your vehicles into the cargo bay. There's a button panel on either side of the door that has the controls to open and close the door, lock it, turn on and off the lights in the cargo hold, and also the floodlights that sit underneath the ship. Moving up these stairs into the rest of the ship reveals the engineering area. Taking this right side door reveals the airlock room, complete with suit lockers and gun racks, for exploration of course. This airlock is actually really interesting because the process of venting it is a completely manual one. First, you open the inside door, then hit the vent switch, and finally open up to the great outdoors. Back in engineering, you can find the gravity generator that I can't currently interact with. You can also find the rest of your component access here. With how fleshed out all the component access is, I'd imagine that the Corsair is gonna be one of the first ships ready to go with engineering gameplay once that's been implemented. The next section is habitation. On the left side, you'll notice three full rooms, each with their own suit locker. This really is a luxury, for a Drake ship that is. In the back of this room is the kitchen, to keep you well fed during your expeditions. To the jealousy of Cutlass owners everywhere, the ship also contains a full bathroom with a full down toilet as well. Finally, this room also contains the elevator, the other entrance to the ship. I love the feel of this elevator with these handles, each one taking you to a different floor. The right side is to exit out to the ground, The middle is to enter the ship. And the last one is a really special experience that puts you straight onto the roof of your Corsair for you and the boys to crack open a cold one and look up into the stars, while you're in atmosphere, of course. Moving forward takes us into the turret room with two turrets, one on either side. Stepping into one of these turrets actually encompasses the user and isolates them away from the ship. Each of these turrets comes equipped with two size two laser repeaters. From concept images, there was actually a lot of concern that the turrets wouldn't be able to fire forwards to add to the DPS of the pilot, but it looks as though this issue has been resolved by pushing the turrets out further from the body of the ship. Finally, we step into the bridge. The bridge contains the captain's quarters that have their own suit locker and lighting system. The bridge also has some space for personal storage. Stepping into the co-pilot seat takes you on a trip to end up sitting right underneath the pilot. From here, you can access the remote turret located on the top of the ship with a pair of size 2 repeaters. Finally, sitting in the pilot seat gives you access to four size 4 hardpoints alongside two size 5 ones. I especially love this little MFD falling to the side of the pilot seat that is still fully functional. All in all, I really do love this ship. It may steer like a brick, but it's a very heavily armed brick. I also love the attention to detail in the interior of the ship. From the fallen MFD, to the individual door panels, to the manual airlock, it's clear that a lot of thought has gone into its design. I will of course be doing a full review and breakdown once the ship launches this Friday. That video will have all of the important details and numbers that will really help you decide if the Corsair is for you, so subscribe if you want to make sure that you catch it. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed, and tell me in the comments what you think so far of the Drake Corsair. Take care and see you in the next one.